two things that perhaps Congress has failed to achieve within the top, in the last 10 years, and two things that we can do in the next 10 years to resolve these, that issue? Two things would be way too few. Uh, first of all, we failed to have a strategic plan and vision for NASA over the last 10 years, and now it's come to a president that doesn't care much about the current, you know, if you will, available programs. And so manned space is coming to an end. Uh, deep exploration is, is at a low point. Uh, and, and there really isn't sort of what NASA next. Uh, and it's, it's really a tragedy because Congress has the ongoing responsibility for these, these sort of agencies with administration Without a vision, NASA's been allowed to get to the end of the shuttle flights with really not much direction next. Uh, and that's, that's, a, that's a shame because the opportunity for exploration, the opportunity for man being better because we look beyond our shell uh, is something that we're really missing. And, it's, and it, NASA's a good example of something that is inherently governmental. You know, your ch I know this private launches, but private launches generally leverage what's where man has already gone, and they're just doing it again. To really do the breakthrough technology does have to be done at a global or national level. The second one, uh, quite frankly, is global warming. Uh, here we have a situation in which we've spent a lot of money. We've discovered that, in at least in Britain, we spent money for people who cook the books on some parts of it. And now we're in a situation we've passed partial legislation. We recognize that the Earth is generally warming. We recognize that we have pollution problems, that too much CO2 clearly at some point is a cyclical problem, even if man wasn't here. And we haven't databased it to where there can be true bipartisan support on what is happening, where the tipping points are coming, where the historic science is. It's a terrible mistake to have a conclusion without buy-in. And it's, it's something that I find frustrating because I have people who are, quote, deniers of global warming. I have people who don't want to talk about the science. They only want to say it's done, it's settled. And as scientists, nothing is ever settled. Uh, you're, you're all fairly young. I'm old enough, you're all very young, but I'm old enough to remember certain postulates of science that breakthrough science has shown was different. And it happens in every discipline. In physics, it certainly happens in all the earth science. You know, even the question of where man began has changed on the, on the world map three or four times over the time that I've been growing up. So those are two big problems. The obvious, where does America invest? We've done it without a plan. And, and if I want, got into NIH and some of the other major investments, you could find a similar situation of we've spent money, we haven't had a strategic plan. And you know, most of you over here said you're going to be researchers. What are you going to research? How are you, what is the end? Have you ever put up on the wall to what end? How many of you put anything on the wall that, that sort of guides some of your thinking? You know, inspirational, any of that? OK. <laughs> Maybe it's passe, but you know, I want on my wall to what end. And every day I want to look up and say, whatever I'm doing, to what end am I doing it? Am I making uh, the earth better, safer? Am I improving the quality of life for future generations? Am I improving the quality of life for current generations? Every one of you that's going to work in the scientist, as a scientist, has to sort of have something like that, that every day you say, look, if you're just working for a paycheck, then after to what end, you put a dollar sign. But I suspect that's not the only to end. And I think as long as to what end, you can answer, you can be motivated. And if the to what end, including why you're getting the educations you're getting, why you're going to go through graduate and, and postgraduate work, uh, if you can answer that question every day, then you get up every day excited. I'm lucky. I can answer that every day.